How's it going everyone? A card day is night hockey back with a very very impromptu release day break of stature. Um, I wasn't sure at first I wanted to buy this or not. I was on the fence and I decided I would wait to see some videos first. So I checked some out that already got uploaded this morning during my lunch break and I thought it looked pretty nice. I wanted to check it out for myself. I thought I might buy some over the weekend. Um, but then I remembered my local card shop posted on Facebook last night that they had some in stock already, so I figured why not just why not just get a box right now? I, I mean, I'm not a very patient, man. I can't wait. Anyway, so I went there after work, picked this up. It's only eighty five dollars. Um, I thought it was a pretty good price because it's ninety at least for a release day because it's ninety nine ninety five on David Adams and Steel City. That's not even counting the shipping and the, the tax. Um, also picked this up. Box of 2019-20 Series 2 Hobby. Um, not opening it today. That'll be coming in the coming weeks. Um, but, yeah. Uh, there's probably going to be four or five videos up blue by me this week. Um, believe me, that's not going to be common. But it's my it's my first week here on YouTube. I want to start off with a bang. Um, and so let's, let's hope we get something real good in here. Really nice, sorry. You can watch me fiddle with the box for a few minutes. In my first video, I said uh, one of my goals of this channel was to help people, hopefully help people decide whether or not a product was worth buying or not. Hopefully, since this is this is the first day that the statue came out, I can accomplish that goal with this video. I obviously check out other people's videos too. Uh, my box obviously is not going to be indicative of whether or not it's a good product or not. Every box is different. That goes for any product. But here we go. One pack. One guaranteed auto. It says, I'm pretty sure some boxes have a second. I'm not sure what the odds are for that. But I hope, my, hope, hope mine is one of those boxes. Finally. Sorry about that. Keep those to the side. I'll put the box up for good measure. Mostly so I can't see it. <laughs> What's coming next? So first up, David Pasternak base. These are really nice looking base cards. Um, a lot of people have commented on the other video saying that the pictures, promotional pictures from Upper Deck really didn't do it justice. I think that's true. Sorry, got out of focus there. There's the front. There's the back. Uh, pretty, it's, a, it's a nice classy looking card. David Pasternak. Next. The Boston Bruins hot box. We have two Garask base. Um, there's the back. Uh, Brady Keeper rookie card. It's numbered to uh, is that 399. Yes, numbered to 399 for the Panthers. It's a nice Mitch Marner uh, green card. I don't know if the parallels have names, I'll be honest, but it's a green parallel. Numbered two, 149. And the green parallels are particular, or the colored parallels in general look particularly nice in person. Next, uh, a Teddy Bluger statue rookie. Penguins following much more than the Flyers do, unfortunately, in these box breaks. The Brady Keeper, Brady Keeper, real quick, a base rookie, I'm not 100% sure. It's got, this one, the blueger has got a different front and back, as you can see. Uh, 
Uh, ooh. Oh. Sorry, I missed it. It's also numbered uh, 85, the Bluger. Here's a nice one. It's an Adam Boquist Upper Deck Statue Rookie. Also numbered to 85, 25, 85 for Chicago. Recent top 10 pick. Uh, it's an Alexi Sarela Green Autograph. Number 62 of 85. Ooh, uh, Quinn Hughes pink rookie resume. I think that's pink. Number to 45. Always nice to get either Hughes brother. And I think it's our last one. It's a Brandon Gignac rookie reliance. And that one's not numbered. I think that's just the base rookie reliance. Well, there you have it. Alexi Sorella, not the certainly not the greatest autograph in the world, but that Hughes is definitely a nice looking card. Uh, they're all pretty nice looking cards, honestly. Is it worth the eighty-five dollars I spent on the box? Uh, probably not, but uh, check some out for yourself. You know, uh, check our people's videos out. Other boxes have been better for sure. Um, but that is my box of 2019-20 stature. So thanks for checking it out, guys. If you like that video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you like. Normally we're posting two, two box breaks a week, at least one hobby. Uh, this week's special, of course. But yeah, thanks for watching. And until next time, it's been a card day's night.